Hello everyone, welcome back to Laser Payment Games. Today we're going to be taking a look at another build in Diablo 2 MeXL Sigma, and this is going to be the Thundercrack Amazon. And let's go ahead and take a look at the skill tree. So our main skills are going to, so we're, we're going to avoid the first page entirely, obviously, because of Amazon's you only have one of the first five trees anyway. So we're going to go to the storm tree. So here we're going to max out Thundercrack, which is our main ability. I'm going to put one storm call, one in hammer of Zeray, and then I'm going to max out Asterism. And this is going to give us a uh, whole bunch of max damage, uh, dexterity and energy, and then we're also going to get some bonuses for having Thundercrack in the first place, as well as a bit of minus resistance to lightning for the enemies. Um, in the neutral tree, you can put one in wild and free. Um, we'll come back to that after. We put one in Fire Elementals. We're going to max out Balance. Um, we're going to put one in friend Static Frenzy and then we're going to max out Defensive Harmony. Um, for Reward Skills, I have... I would put one in Spellbind and one in War Spirit here and then max out Career. Now you're going to have a few extra points after that, depending on where you are uh, modeling, and this is where you can kind of decide to do a little bit of customization. Uh, I have War Spirit off my gloves already, so I just don't even have any points in it at all. But if you want more Crushing Blow, um, you can put your extra skills there. If you want to reduce the cooldown of Spellbind a bit, um, so you can use it a bit more often, uh, you can put your extra points there, or you can go back to wild and free which is where I put my extra points and then just get a bit more movement speed and faster hit recovery so those last few points you can kind of put them where you want uh, as long as you have all the other main skills uh, for attributes also you're just putting in the minimum strength required for all your gear and then I cranked up my my vitality a lot to till I got to about 10k HP and then put the rest and dexterity for damage, block chance, and defense, and everything else. Okay, so what am I wearing? <laughs> okay, so I usually tell you that you can do a build by <laughs> just wearing crafted gear, and for sure you can try that with this build, but um, I, I guess I don't recommend it, as these items can be quite important. Um, so the weapon and the armor are what basically run this build. Um, this is Battle Maiden, and it's going to give us 100% bonus lightning damage to Thundercrack, you know, as well as just a very high damage uh, one-hander, bit of life leech, mana, very fast attack speed, and then some more enhanced damage based on character level, which is a very good weapon. And then the armor, which is the other piece of this, is the 200% weapon physical damage if wielding a scepter, which obviously we are. And then this is going to give us also just oh, pretty pretty high defense as well, uh, character defense. Uh, you can see here I added in um, six attack speed jewels for 90% attack speed. And then there's just a bunch of other bonuses that came off the jewels as well. And then you get the physical resist on the armor, 5%. Uh, you can see, uh, this. there is a variation, I think, between how much... I think the total character defense can go up to 100. And there are some other things that can be not as good on the armor, but this is what I found, so I'm using it. And then I put the Taha, I filled up Taha runes in my weapon for maximum damage. Uh, I'm using a crafted. So the rest of the pieces are 
are not so bad. You can pretty much use whatever you can get your hands on, but if you really want to make this build, you're probably going to have to get the armor and, and the scepter at some point. I'm going with a crafted helmet, five distance on skills, um, and just a pile of stats, some life regen. I'm going with the same melee amulet here. Here you can have anything, honestly, just any anything with skills and attack speed. Uh, I'll see this is adding the stun attack and a few other bonuses for being a high level sacred rare amulet, but um, using Titan Steps again here just for just a bunch of added damage, some crushing blow, more life, filled it with law runes for extra attributes. Uh, this is Rogue Foresight, this is where I'm getting my War Spirit so I didn't have to put any skills in it. This is going to give me more Deadly Strike as well and more Physical Resist, as, just the same as the belt here, the Champion of the Triune. It's again just Deadly Strike, Physical Resist, and then you're getting a bunch of other extra, I guess, armor and other stats to go with it. Uh, I mean, the minus resist on this belt kind of sucks, but I can see here I'm using the same rings as the Pounce Belt as well for Physical. If you have two Giant's Knuckles, I'd say to use two of them. Um, if you don't, you can use Rip Stars, which are going to give a big max damage buff, basically, to your damage. And you can add some more defense, man regen, life, whatever you need to add there. And then this is, I'm going to be using Eloy, um, which is the same shield I actually use for my summon build. And the reason I'm doing that is it is basically very high defense and also is going to provide um, good physical resist as well at the same time. Um, and then you get the added bonus of having a summon, which is going to give you resist all and more physical resist as well while they're alive. So that's pretty cool, just an added bonus. But uh, it's really easy to make, it's just a Veth rune and a uh, Sacred Set Child. And I put uh, more attack speed in there as well. So I do have quite a bit of attack speed. Uh, the only thing I would, I guess, keep adding as I uh, level level up more would be, I guess, more life steal and life on hit, uh, which would help me stay alive a bit more. Because I added deadly strike on the weapon, which is also good. Uh, that's the first thing I want to add, and a bit of enhanced damage. But uh, definitely be able to add more life steal and life on hit to it after. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just take it a cow like I normally do. So you guys can just see the build and put on War Spirit, and I can go ahead and summon the champions, champions of the sun here. So on my left uh, click here, I'm gonna have Thundercrack, and on the right I'm gonna have Spellbind which is also going to make us do more damage by lowering enemy physical resist and defense. It'll make it easier to hit them. And I guess my mana regen so high is just... You get a bunch of extra energy for for basically being a scepter zone and having your passive ability. So here basically you're just going to Basically, just smack him, and you just <laughs> watch the lightning just rip, rip out. It's, it says basically it's gonna hit up to seven, seven bolts. Yeah, seven bolts. It'll just basically kill everything. You can see that uh, that was Pagan that went off the armor there. One percent chance. Got level twenty-four. Pagan right, which is pretty nice. It just heal, like basically auto heals you if it goes off. You're killing. Uh, a lot of mobs, it's pretty nice sometimes, just get that auto heal. There's King there. You will find you, King. Just back in my team. They've been even more nice, like if they made it higher than 1%, if they even made it 5%, even though it's actually going off quite a bit right now. Um, 
Yeah, I see you quite a bit. At only 1%, but 5% would have been even sweeter. 5 to 10%. This so came up. Alright, I gotta go fight King. Why is he not dead? Is he falling? There you go. Wait, wait, what are you doing, King? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him a beat down. Like there is, and I've got two up here. I am using the D2 stats um, extra mod there that helps, I guess, identify items that are dropping and uh, some other stuff. You can see your how your actual stats are, unlike in the game that's not showing you perfectly what's happening. Which was recommended by somebody in the comment section of one of my other videos. I have it on <laughs> displaying uh, magic sacred as well because I'm still looking for some for some build basically to turn into superior sacreds. Superior battle, although it's not. I don't have it perfect yet to. It's more for, for trying to just basically tell you that unique or sacred unique or set aimer has dropped. Um, oh, we got Sash 4, we got the Jewel over here. Actually looking for some. I'm leveling up a Necro now, because that was another requested build and I don't even have a Necro yet. <laughs> for a few macro items. But this build is very simple once you have the gear and you just you're swinging and cursing. And then if you want to see the thing is so I, I'm going up to 49% with the minions out and it's about 31% physical resist without them. And I'll see my, all my resistances are maxed out when they're out. They don't have a ton of life. They die, I mean, almost 20k. But uh, in higher level areas, they're they dying pretty quick. It's just So you can just summon them and then basically you let them die off. <laughs> and then you summon more. And they're just, like, you don't really care what they're doing. You, they're just there to buff you. They buff the whole party, actually. If you're playing with other people, too. Which is nice. Everybody will love you. For being a thunder crag zone. Yep. Well, that's pretty much the build. It's pretty pretty good. Uh, you can definitely take it to higher level areas. Um, you have more. I definitely try and increase your life steal. I don't really have enough yet. And uh, also you have crazy amounts of armor, so <laughs> you can always get a, you can always add more if you want to. But I think that's pretty good. Um, if you have any questions about the build, leave them in the comments, and we'll see you in the next video. Hello everyone, we made it to the end of the video. This is Laser Pan Games, reminding you to smash that like button, leave a comment below, and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, it really helps out. And if you're looking for even more content, check out my Patreon here, where I post exclusive video content every month, and you'll have access to all of that.